Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A hydrogen atom in its ground state is irradiated by a light of wavelength 970 angstrom. Taking Hc by E equal to 1.237 into 10 to the power minus 6 <coughs> electron volt meter and the ground state energy of hydrogen atom is minus 13.6 electron volt. The number of light present in the emission spectrum is and this question is asked 2016 advance. In general, this question is little complex in terms of calculation. Otherwise, you can solve this question by remembering few formulas. Okay. So, here, okay, let's talk about the key point of this question. Here, delta E, change in energy that we can calculate, ground state energy level that is uh, minus 13.6 electron volt. Okay. And we have to calculate En. En is given by using this formula and minus 13.6 by n square. If we calculate the n and we can get the number of spectrum lines by using this formula n into n minus 1 by 2. Okay. Now here change in energy is equal to photon energy h nu. Here h is a plane constant and nu is the frequency. Then nu can be written as c by lambda okay on this value in joules because change in energy is in joules here we have convert into electron volts so therefore divided by e okay here we have given hc by e value that is 1.237 generally its value is 1.2375 but here in the question here we have given 1.237 into 10 raised to power minus 6 and what is the value of lambda means wavelength is given that is 970 into 10 raised to power minus 10 because one angstrom is equal to 10 raised to power minus 10 is it okay so here we get calculate then its value we get 12.75 electron volt okay is it clear now, as we know that change in energy is equal to final energy minus initial energy, then E n can be written as equal to delta E plus E1. Here E1 is an energy of ground level. Okay, here delta E n we have to calculate and delta E we have already find out 12 minus 75 plus. Here what is E n? Uh, E1 ground state energy level that is minus 13.6 electron volt. So here En is equal to 0 0.85 electron volt negative. Is it okay? So here we get En. Now using this formula En equal to minus 13.6 upon n square. So now substitute this value minus 0 0.85 electron volt. It is an also electron volt. All these values cancel out. Electron volt cancel out. Minus minus cancel out. N square equal to 13.6 upon 0 0.85. So here this will cancel out. N square equal to 16 means N equal to 4. Is it okay? So here we get n equal to 4. Now substitute the value for getting the number lines. So here using this formula n to n minus 1 by 2. So 4, 4 minus 1 upon 2. 4 into 3 by 2, 2 to the 4, 3 to the 6. So here number line is 6. I hope so. You understood this question. Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल दैट कैन रीच मोर एंड मोर स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू वंस अगेन लॉ हिर इज द क्वेश्चन हाइड्रोजन एटम इन इट्स ग्राउंड स्टेट इज इरेडिएट बाय लाइट ऑफ वेव लेंथ नाइन सेवेंटी आंगस्टर टेकिंग एच सी बाई ई इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू थ्री सेवन इंटू टेन डिस्ट पॉर माइनस सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट मीटर एंड द ग्राउंड स्टेट एनर्जी ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटम इज माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट द नंबर ऑफ लाइट प्रेजेंट इन द इमिशन स्पेक्ट्रम इज एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज आज टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एडवांस इन जनरल दिस क्वेश्चन इज लिटिल कॉम्प्लेक्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैलकुलेशन अदरवाइज यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बाय रिमेम्बरिंग फ्यू फार्मूलाज ओके सो हियर ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द की पॉइंट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन हियर डेल्टा ई चेंज इन एनर्जी दैट वी कैन कैलकुलेट ग्राउंड स्टेट एनर्जी लेवल दैट इज माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट ओके एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट ई एन ई एन इज गिवन बाई यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला एंड माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स बाय एन स्क्वेयर इफ वी कैलकुलेट द एन एंड वी कैन गेट द नंबर ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रम लाइन्स बाय यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला एन इन टू एन माइनस एन बाई टू ओके नाउ हियर energy change is equal to photon energy h mu here h is a planck constant and use the frequency and now we can convert the frequency that is seen by lambda is it okay that is in our values in joules so therefore convert into electron volt divided by e okay but here we have given that it is sc by e this value so here Hc Hc by E E is given 1.237 and lambda is given given 1.237 and lambda 970 angstrom means convert into meter that is minus k so here we get the value is 12.75 electron volt is it okay now as we know that change in energy is equal to final energy minus initial energy then e n can be written as equal to delta e plus e1 here e1 is a energy of ground level okay here delta e n we have to calculate and delta e we have already find out well minus 75 plus here what is e n Uh, e1 ground state energy level that is minus 13.6 electron volt so here en is equal to 0.85 electron volt negative is it okay so here we get en now using this formula en equal to minus 13.6 upon n square So now substitute this value minus zero point eight five electron volt. It is an also electron volt. All these values cancel out. Electron volt cancel out. Minus minus cancel out. N square equal to thirteen point six upon zero point eight five. So here this will cancel out. N square equal to sixteen means N equal to four. Is it okay? so here we get n equal to 4 now substitute the value for getting the number lines so here using this formula n to n minus 1 by 2 so 4 4 minus 1 upon 2 4 into 3 by 2 2 to the 4 3 to the 6 so here number line is 6 i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success Full contribution goes to your hard work, but if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work, but if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success. i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye